Elf Guardians were celebrating. Griffin interrupted them. Grounds black, saturated with blood. are older and deeper, heavily armored. Elf guardians, probably. Griffin's nest. What remains of it at least. Corpse is a couple of weeks old. Still alive when the Griffin brought him here. Took a long time dying. Bones. Horse. Dog. Human. A few months worth. and her wounds have already hatched. Been dead at least a week. Other griffin must be a male. Deep cuts over the whole body. Not a drop of blood on the beak or claws. Didn't defend herself. Crept up on her while she slept. Beak tips worn. Gray hairs in the coat. Ten, twelve years old. Griffins pair off for life when young. Male must be about the same age. Thick shaft, dense barbs. A royal griffin. Explains why the male I ran into was so aggressive. Hunted the Nilf Guardians down here in the forest first, then started prowling the area. Done all I could. Should talk to Vesemir. Faster. Or in clinics. Good lad, Master Witcher. Though he. Yes. Yes. What is it, Wolf? Got good news and bad news. Good news first. Captain of a Nilfgaardian garrison knows where Yennefer went. And the bads that we have to kill the Griffin for him. 
What else could he want from two witchers? Go on. Tell me what you know. Griffin's abandoned its lair. Gotta make a lure, set a trap. And how's that going? Learned some things. It's a male, had its nest in the Vulpine Woods. The Nilf Guardians burned the woods down, killed its mate, smashed their eggs. Thought they'd fixed things. <laughs> it's always the same. Instead of sending for a professional, they try to do it themselves, only end up making matters worse. Got the buckthorn. Ought to work like a charm. Powerful scent. More like stench. City boy. Rotting meat, manure, piss, standard smells of the countryside. Remember Tredegor? Hunting that Zugal in the trash heap? You spent half the next day bathing, scrubbing yourself. How can I forget? You ever gonna stop bringing that up? <laughs> Fine. If everything's ready, say the word and we'll get to work. I'm ready. No point in waiting. Let's find a good spot to ambush it. Picked one out already, other side of the stream. There's fields and a grove. Plenty of room and far enough so no one will get in our way. Good. Meet you there. Slow now. Whoa. What's the blood from the fields? A stream, amber waves of grain. Charming place. Perfect for an ambush. I know how to choose them. So, ready? Let's start. Wind's good. Bait's scent will spread quickly. Now all we have to do is wait. Come on. We can cower in the shade of those birches. So tell me, once we find Yennefer, what'll you do? Got your eye on a contract? No. I'll go to Care Morn. Little early to settle in for the winter. Snows are a way off, yes. And that's what worries me. Nilfgaard's crossed the Pontar in the east. Puts them maybe a week's march from Care Morn. If they reach the valley before snows can cover the passes, well, we need to cover our tracks, hide our paths. Speaking of winter and wintering, think you'll come this year? Maybe. Might bring a guest. us on the evils, but you're a gambler yourself. Stop talking. Got a griffin to kill. Watch out! Come on! He 
It's fast! It's about to die! Not bad. Not bad. Though, you could stand to improve some things. Man spends his whole life learning. Not a Witcher, unless he doesn't want to live long. But more on that later. Take the Griffin's head to the Black Ones. I'll ready our horses. Meet me at the inn. Take it easy. Stop! What the hell is this? Roy! You take me for a blind man or a fool? This grain is rotten. I... I didn't know. So, a fool. Damn it, you never learn. Military Codex, Article 2, Section 3. For the delivery of defective goods, 15 lashes with a knout. Make it so. No, no, no! By the gods, no! What? Guess you've dropped your good uncle act. It was no act. I extended a hand to these people. They spat on it. Could it be because it held the sword that killed their loved ones? Tcha! <laughs> a moralist. And what would you do in my stead? Wouldn't ever be in your stead. Tell me why you've come. 
fulfilled my end of the bargain. Your turn. Where'd Yennefer go? To Vizima. She was a day's ride from here the whole time? Under my nose? Might have said so. Yes, I might have. But you would not have killed the griffin. Tit for tat. Halt! We are not done. It's yours, this gold. I would not want you to say you were inadequately compensated. It, Roach. Slower. Jennifer's in Vizima. Got a few friends there, so... Something wrong? Look around. Trouble brewing. Time we were on our way. Mm-hmm. I'll buy some provisions for the journey. Then we'll go. Geralt, we should stay out of it. Just this once. to the lilies took him down took him down to hang a golden sun there now I cannot show to Marian colors they'll come and burn the tavern down maybe it's true what they say you fund of the Imperials you Nilfgaard's whore I'll let that pass I know grief eats at your heart you know shit they hang my sister, dragged her out the cloister like a dog. Said Nilfgaard's no place for superstition. That they don't fear the wrath of the gods. And you, do you fear it? If not for Annie, your child would have choked on its navel string. You owe your son to my sister tending to the birth. And you don't fear the gods' wrath. You don't fear it, you cunt! <laughs> Is this medallion? You know what it means. Back off. You all right? They say witches steal young'uns. That true. What the Emperor promised you freaks? Your own land? Like he did the elves once? Get out, all of you. We ain't going nowhere. And neither are you. They won't back down now. I can see that.
It's all right. It's over. Leave me be! Get away! See his face! God save us! Be gone. And don't ever come back. So much for not getting involved. Come on, let's go. That brawl? We didn't start it. Excuses, excuses. You've not changed a bit. Y yen How? I received a report about a witcher who'd appeared in White Orchard. I knew it was you, looking for me. I might have waited until you found me, but... Oh, you know me. Patience has never been my strong suit. It's... Good to see you, Geralt. I... I'd even embrace you. Were you not covered in blood? Sorry. Wasn't expecting to see you. To be honest, this isn't at all how I imagined we'd meet. How did you imagine it? You didn't imagine you'd have a Nilfgaardian escort. Don't get me wrong, Yennefer. I'm glad to see you. But I do think you owe us an explanation. And I shall provide it. In Vizima. Ready your horses. We can talk here. Some charming orchards nearby. In bloom even, so you almost can't smell the corpses. A tempting proposition. Sadly, I must say no. You see, someone awaits you in Vizima. Someone who doesn't like to be kept waiting. Emperor Emir Var Emrys. Or, to those on more intimate terms with him, the white flame dancing on the graves of his foes. Doubt I number among that group. As far as I remember, last time we saw each other, he wanted to kill me. Well, now he wishes to make you an offer. The kind one can't refuse? I didn't, though I could have. Fine. Guess I'm willing to hear him out. The Emperor of Nilfgaard, Lord of Metina, Ebbing, and Gamera. Sovereign of Nazare and Vicovaro will feel honored, I'm sure. What about you? I'm going in the opposite direction. I somehow doubt the Emperor's invitation mentioned me. Besides, I've got things to do at Care Morhen, remember? Yeah, I remember. Thanks for your help, Vesemir. See you soon. How's your horse? Swift? Can't complain. Why do you ask? I'd like to be back behind some thick city walls, as soon as possible. Just the beginning. But then... But then... <laughs>
how big? We shall talk of this tomorrow, all right? After the audience. <laughs>